For adding support to any pipe, we need to first uh, add a support, say, node in that pipe. At any node only, we can add a support. So, suppose this pipe is there. Suppose you want to put uh, support on it for selected pipe. Here, option will be there. Break. Break. So, that is 210 to 322 to 210. And suppose you want some node, enter any node number. Don't enter a node number which is already in this. So, now in this one, we have nodes like 10, 10, 10, 10. So, if we enter any 220 or something, it will clash. So, 210 to 320. Enter some number which you can prevail. Again, suppose if you want to refer back, you can track it. 210 means 210. Suppose if you enter 215. You can track back after 2 then okay. so 215 distance. Let us put at the center of this one. 215. Length of this one is 602. Uh, 301. Add a support at 301. Okay. Now we need a restraint at this point. Restraint is nothing but a support. 215. It's a restraint at load 215. In what direction we need a restraint? Plus y direction. So this pipe it can't go down. Strand is there. Now coming to this nozzle part. This this flange it will be connected to some suppose a, a flange of some pump or something. So it cannot it should not move. So in order to fix this in all directions, first like that, then strain anchor. Anchor means it will. Stop it from moving all directly. And suppose we put two more. Means, uh, the distance between two supports it should be four to five meters. Mm -hmm. So you can see this pipe is too big. Length of this pipe is around 8 minutes. We need it around 4. So, break this pipe. That pipe break. Now, in this one, this is an 8,000. Eight meter, then five. So we need multiple nodes in that. So insert multiple nodes. So total number of break elements. How many breaks you want in that? Suppose if I want to put the, at every three thousand millimeter or three mm. So eight thousand means you need three breaks in that pipe. Three breaks. Will give at what distance it is taking? And we get support from means whichever the support we have put at the last node, like at 145, we have put one support in there. Positive by and in here also we need that same positive by one. So we can take from that, or if you want some other kind of support, then again okay. Don't put anything here. Just put okay, then again from that type. Take it. So from take it from 145. But it was not one. It was two fifteen. Here we have taken this pipe. At that point we have taken one at two fifteen. So that one we have to put that one. Two fifteen. 
This pipe is too, so I do not need to put here. Again, this pipe. This length is 17 meters. So, break the pipe. Multiple nodes. 17 means if you want to take at 4 meter distance. Break it into 4. 4 meter, 4 meter, 4 meter. Again, nodes have to take automatically 4 points of weight. Now you can take it 145. I suppose if you don't want like this, just put OK. Go to that type one. I have a video giving you video recording so you can. Under 5 meters, should not exceed 5 meters. We want a support here also. The length is less. Again, this will move on. Uh, at least I didn't show us. Didn't show us. Now, so now putting supports for this one is done. Piping and support is done. Now, if you want to check the errors in that pipe, if some error is coming, it will show you. So now no error is there so for this batch run. This means it will analyze the piping with support whether it is under the given load or exceeding it. And there was this now for an optimal take errors. Want to generate a stress report for this? This is operational condition under operation. Suspended means document the flow of fluid is not there. And then we explain about what happened. This is sent to screen means it will just display the value. MS to or MS word means it will put it in directly the value to be saved in the MS word file. Operate this. Generated one report. Here means this thing it is showing. It is the maximum value of whatever it will down. From this node to node, what is the load actually? What are the stresses? So here it is giving us the maximum values. This is the allowable value for that. According to B31.5, this is allowable. And this ratio, this the this load, whatever the maximum load we are getting, stress we are getting there, to this allowable stress. This is the ratio of that. And uh, so there are four ratios. Suppose if our this ratio it exceeds more than 100, means whatever we have designed it fails. Means the pipe is overutilized, but it's really overutilized. And there are supports are not enough, it's exceeding the limit. If our ratio is between 80 to 100 percent, the pipe that will be passed, but still the material strength will be overutilized. Means if a plant has to work, that plant we are designing it has to work for 25 years. It will fail before that, around 20 years only, the pipe will work and fail. So, this is also not desirable. If it, the less than 50, it means the strength of pipe is underutilized. It means you are putting way too much supports, supports are too much. So, you can reduce the number of supports. This is the 
by adding in more supports, support for the material you need at scale and all, the cost is increasing, so you can reduce that. The, what to say, the optimum or desired value is to be 50 to 80. So, for the level is to be that's desired value. And even, even if it's less than 50, also it is possible. But if it's above 100, then you need to do some changes. So here you can see only the load cases we are assuming is weight of that pipe, temperature of fluid and pressure of fluid, whether seismic load or not in one Monday, sir. 